entering purchase invoices from head office. Once you've processed your order to head office, you will either be required to pay for it straight away or you'll have a period of credit before you have to pay for it. Even if you have a period of credit, you can still enter the invoice so that your accounts reflect the profit being made from your catalogues. So if we go to our account screen, you'll see that we have the invoice that we um, placed uh, and purchased uh, when we initiated the system. And at that point, we didn't have the invoice number. Now we may have that now. So to tidy the system up, just double click on that and then over type the invoice number that you've got and click enter. And we don't need to enter any business points. So that just tidies up the system. So now we have an invoice from head office for the goods that we have just uh, delivered to all our customers. So I simply say add new invoice. Who is the supplier? So we'll say this is from Betterware. Again, it'll just be whichever catalogue company that uh, the invoice is from that you're uh, working from. Uh, the invoice number, and as we said before, we might not have the invoice number at this point. The type, it's going to be an invoice. The date it's received, so we'll say it was yesterday, the second. Uh, our order reference number that we got when we placed the order. Our reference, so I'll just say that's it's our invoice number two. And then the value of that, so we're going to say it was £37. The catalogue period, that's the current catalogue, any business points. Uh, some catalogues offer a, a business point scheme, so as you place an order you get points and as you increase your points it entitles you to various offers or free gifts. So enter the business points that uh, you got with that if you received any. And then just make a note of any catalogues that you bought, samples, any stock, any sales aids or um, any postage that was included in that £37. So it might be that we spent a pound and we bought uh, one of the future catalogues just for our um, records at this point. And then we need to say when the payment is due. So we'll say, okay, we've got a couple of days to pay this. So we'll say we're going to pay it uh, tomorrow on the 4th. And then I need to post costs against the catalogue. So this is now going to help me determine how much profit a particular catalogue has made. So if I click on here and I select the main catalogue that all these orders were for, so it was the uh, 091020 UK catalogue, and then I put the value that that was. So it's going to be £36 because I had a pound for a future catalogue. And then for a, a different catalogue, I select the catalogue code and then I put the amount in for that. So that now balances 37 to 37. I then click enter. It just checks that I haven't put any business points in. I just say yes, continue, that's fine. And that's now recorded against the um, invoice. You'll now see that the amount owing to our suppliers is £37. But if I go to my catalogues, we can now see that the main catalogue, we had £48 worth of orders and we processed it. The cost of these orders is now £54. It's gone up from that £18 from our initial setup because obviously we've had to pay for goods. I said the profit made is minus six pounds, but that has, if you like, increased from our minus 18 pounds. So as we get more orders uh, for this catalogue, we will start to make a profit. And you'll now see that the other catalogue that we paid a pound for on that invoice is now showing in our cost of orders for that catalogue. So when I go back to my account screen, so that's recorded the fact that we've got that invoice and I'm still owing it. To pay that invoice, I click make a payment. I then say the payment value we're going to make so is going to be £37. The date we're going to pay it, where we're going to say we'll pay it early, we'll pay it today. We'll pay it from the bank. 
and the reference, I'm just going to say I'm paying it for my NatWest account. The £37 is remaining to be apportioned over the invoice, so I just click Select Pay. And now you can see the amount to be assigned has gone to zero, and this payment is going to be our £37. I then say Enter Payment, Process the Payment, and you'll now see that there's zero outstanding to the suppliers, but you'll now see that balance in my bank has decreased to £42.60 obviously because we've now paid from there. Now, as we're taking orders, our cash in our till is going to increase and increase and increase, and we need to transfer that money over to the bank. Um, so we simply say option to move money, and we move money from the till to the bank. So if I'm gonna say, right, I'm going to the bank, and I'm taking 20 pounds cash and checks from my till, and I transfer it to the bank, so I've now got £2.60 left in my till, cash on hand if you like, and I've now got minus £22.60 in the bank. So obviously, as we get more orders, we transfer it to the bank, so we start to get into a credit. And you can see here, our projected profit for the business so far is minus £7 from our customer transactions of £35. So I then go back to my dashboard screen and then we can carry on with other processes.